Hello, I'm Captain Eric Thors, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. I welcome you to the virtual edition of our Recruit Graduation Ceremony. Even though you can't be here in person, it is important to be able to share this experience with you, the families and friends watching online and witnessing this significant milestone. Next time you talk to your sailor, I'm sure they'll have many stories to tell you about their boot camp experience. But first, allow me the opportunity to show you our side of the story. Hurry up, let's go. Get on the bus, let's go. Recruit Training Command is the quarter deck of the United States Navy. Good order and discipline will be maintained 24-7. Proper military posture will be maintained 24-7. Every enlisted sailor begins their naval career here, and our mission is fairly simple. It's to transform civilians into smartly disciplined, physically fit sailors ready for follow-on training and service to the fleet, and while doing so, to instill in them the highest values of honor, courage, and commitment. You are no longer a civilian. Whatever you were before is now over. You are about to begin a journey that's gonna make you a part of the greatest naval force the world has ever known. This training will not be easy. It wasn't meant to be. Our training environment is controlled chaos. And while it may not seem like that to the recruits, each and every event has meaning and purpose. You're gonna sound off at the top of your lungs. Do you understand? Yes, I do, sir! We are designed to develop skill sets that sailors can carry throughout their entire career. We push hard on physical fitness. You better get the work. You better... Watch standing. Stop looking, man. Look! Try it. Read it and look. And creating a warrior mindset. Now with the mental scan, you're gonna be focused on your mind. A true body, mind, and soul approach. When I say gas, 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 you'll have 15, one, five seconds to down your face, tighten your straps, check floor seal, and put your hands in your pockets. All of our recruits receive training that will help them the second they get to the fleet. firefighting, damage control, weapons and seamanship. Our recruits get hands-on training and application with them all. together as a team, execute the mission, and the next time I see you, you'll be sailors. Who y'all neighbors? Everything they learn is tested in a battle stations. Identify yourself. Chief, Division 001, man in ready for battle station, Chief. Very well. Do not relax anything, that is on you. That is a 24-hour event where the recruit ceases to exist First shot. First shot. and a sailor is forged. Navy boot camp really is a machine with a swarm of moving parts all working towards the same goal, making a sailor.
The sailors forged here are the bedrock of our naval forces. They give our Navy its combat edge, and they enable us to help keep this nation secure. Each of them you see here today has earned the right to wear the uniform recognized throughout the world as a symbol of freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy.
Well, good day, Recruit Training Command staff, family, and friends. 
and what a fine Navy day it is. And though I'd much rather be with you there in person to celebrate this momentous occasion, even in this virtual construct, it is a distinct honor and privilege to be able to address you today as we welcome our newest sailors to the fleet. First, I would like to congratulate our graduates, our newest shipmates. It has been a long and arduous journey, full of challenges, some of which you probably didn't think you would meet. But you've already overcome so much here at boot camp, individually and collectively, as sailors and shipmates. Now, the fleet is going to expect much from you as you go forward, but I know that the staff here at RTC has prepared you to not only meet those expectations, but exceed them. They've instilled in you warrior toughness, professional competency, and character rooted in the Navy's core values of honor, courage, and commitment. An example of this toughness and resiliency was on display in July when sailors from the USS Bonhomme Richard, some of whom had been in the Navy only a few weeks, courageously fought that fire aboard their ship. Sailors from nearby ships like the USS Decatur stepped up to back them up. And when our Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Mike Gilday, went out to San Diego to visit those involved, he spoke with federal firefighters who said our sailors displayed competency, fearlessness, resiliency, and confidence. This fire is just one of many examples of the challenges yet to come and what the Navy and the nation rightfully demands us to be able to meet. Those traits are essential and inextricably linked to the training that starts right here at boot camp. And I know that you will continue to grow and be ready to meet any challenge that awaits you in your Naval career. Now to the family and friends, I want to express my sincere thank you and gratitude for the love and support that got your sailor to where we are today. You will continue to play a vital role in their future success. Their sail your sailor's journey will not always be easy, but with your love and support, they can overcome anything. Please keep them and their shipmates in your thoughts and prayers. Lastly, I want our new sailors to know this. We all come from different backgrounds, from different walks of life, but today you're part of the Navy family, my family, your family, our family. And it is a family that takes care of each other and treats everyone with dignity and respect. We all have the common mission of supporting and defending the Constitution of the United States and the country whose course it directs. I am honored to call you shipmate. Congratulations, sailors. I look forward to seeing you in the fleet. Let's see out. Let us pray. Today is a defining moment for our graduates because they've beaten the odds and proved that they got what it takes. The journey for some of these men and women was challenging, but with the help of divine power and the motivation and support from their family, staff, and RDCs, they were able to rise to the occasion. And in a little while, they will launch onto a remarkable journey. All-powerful God, I ask that you will ground these sailors and their families in wisdom and peace. The fleet won't be a walk in the park. There will be tests and trials. There will be good days and bad days. But there's someone powerful who can keep sailors and their families' challenges under control. Therefore, keep them healthy. Keep them inspired. Keep them safe. Keep them strong, keep them courageous, and may they never forget that they got what it takes. Amen. Throughout your time here, you've been taught toughness. You have been taught to run to the fire. You have been taught to deal with acute stress, how to process it, and still move forward. You've been taught all that stuff. You've been taught to overcome challenge, and you have overcome challenges. The fact that you're sitting here today says you've done that. Because here's what I'm going to tell you. You're going to be tested. It's coming. 
One of you is going to be sitting in your gym working out, and you're going to hear a loud crash off the back of your ship. And when you get up topside, a helicopter with 25 people has hit the back of the ship and fell in the water. And now you go to mass casualty and start rescuing people. One of you is going to be eaten from the mess decks, and you're going to hear the flight deck fire, drill, fire alarm go off. And you're going to run to the flight deck to suit up, and there's a Harrier jet with two 500-pound bombs on board, a pilot in the cockpit, and the plane's on fire. And you've got to go combat the fire. One of you is going to be sitting in combat off the coast of Africa, and you're going to hear missiles inbound. This is not a drill. And you're going to have to react. Everything I just said has happened to our Navy in the last four years. And sailors like you responded and took action. Your test is coming. Are you ready? Yes, yes Weak. Weak. Are you ready? Yes, yes I am proud of each and every one of you. You are absolutely the generation of sailors I want to go to war with. Be proud of what you've done. Earn it every day. I'm proud to call you shipmate. I look forward to seeing you in the fleet. I look forward to seeing your graduation tomorrow. Congratulations to your parents. Hoo-yah. Hoo